what is cardinality in Power BI? If you're working with Power BI and wondering what cardinality is all about, you're in the right place. Let's break it down in simple terms. Cardinality in Power BI is a way to define how tables in your data model are related to each other. It's essential for ensuring your data is consistent and accurate when you're analyzing and visualizing it. Imagine you have two tables, one for products and another for sales. Cardinality determines how these tables connect. There are four main types of cardinality relationships, one-to-one, one-to-many, many-to-one, and many-to-many. -many. Let's start with the one-to-one -one relationship. This means that each row in one table corresponds to exactly one row in the other table. However, this type is not very common in Power BI because it can lead to redundant data and make your model less efficient. The one-to-many and many-to-one relationships are more common. For example, if you have a product table and a sales table, a product can have many sales records, but each sales record is associated with only one product. If you link the tables using the product ID, it's a one-to-many relationship if you start from the product table and many-to-one if you start from the sales table. Now the many-to-many -many relationship is a bit more complex. Here, both tables can have multiple instances of the same value. For instance, if you have a table of cities and another of sales, a city can have multiple sales records, and a sales record can be associated with multiple cities. However, it's important to note that many-to-many -many relationships are not supported in Power BI Report Server, so you might need to adjust your data model if you're using that. When you set up a relationship in Power BI, the software can automatically detect the cardinality type based on the data. It checks for unique values in the columns you're linking and sets the cardinality accordingly. You can also manually adjust if you know your data will change in the future. For example, if you're linking a company project priority table to a project budget table, Power BI might initially set the cardinality to one-to-one. -to -one. However, if you know that future updates will make the project names repeat, you should change the cardinality to many-to-one -to, to reflect this. The cross-filter direction is another important aspect. In one-to-many relationships, the filter direction is usually from the one side to the many side, but it can also be set to bi-directional. For many-to-many -many relationships, you can set the filter direction from either table or both. Understanding and setting the right cardinality is crucial because it affects how your data is combined and analyzed. It ensures data consistency, prevents inaccuracies, and optimizes query performance, making your reports and visualizations more accurate and efficient. So to sum it up, cardinality in Power BI is about defining how your tables relate to each other, ensuring your data is accurate and efficient, and making sure your reports and visualizations reflect the real relationships in your data.